Hi, welcome to Master Practitioner Training in the Acoustic Records <laughs> from Sacred Activations. <laughs> Screwed that up again, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, super excited about this weekend on what's going to be unfolding. And um, we will be working with unicorns and dragons. We are going to be doing psychic surgeries and um, and be working with the masters and the angels on that. So it's a really exciting weekend and I'm really looking forward to getting started. And thank you all so much for showing up and um, playing with me again. I really appreciate it. I totally love all of you guys and super excited to teach you some or remind you of some things that you can do. part was all about up leveling healers to do this right and and helping healers get out and me doing my own journey from when I mean when I was what was that 2000 I was teaching angel classes I was broke as hell um, teaching people how to talk to their angels and then screaming at God give me the money you know to pay my rent my rent got paid um, within an hour um, but being in that energy and going back into work and then going back into the mainstream work environment, um, making a lot of money again. Um, I was always really good at making money there. And then in 2009, quit my job to become a full-time healer. You know, left a six-figure job driving a brand new Audi and having to go into the government office and ask for food stamps to feed my kids because making money as a healer there were so many belief systems so many belief systems around that and through these six years I've gone through I mean when I went to England in 2012 I had two hundred dollars in my checking account when I left England six months later I had fifteen thousand dollars in my checking account and my son and, and I went to Amsterdam we went to, we went to you know we traveled Europe a little bit and then flew over to Spain and took a cruise ship home and then stayed in Florida for a couple days and then flew home to California did a two-week cruise that's how much I shifted in those six months and since then I mean I've lived a lot of places and I've spent a lot of time traveling and working on grid systems and pyramids and on and on and on but, and then I went in to buy this big, beautiful, expensive home in Oregon. I drive a Mercedes E350, beautiful car, red, just gorgeous. Totally loving that and realized it didn't matter anything to me that I would rather be traveling. So my idea of wealth or, or what I should be or what I should look like or what I should show you, what you should do shifted. And to me, that no longer became important. So my son has the car. I sold everything I owned and I left with a suitcase, right? And that was a transformation. But I'm going to be working with you guys and other healers and help you guys up level and to do what you truly want and get clear on that to get out of your way so that you can really come forward because there's so many belief systems in the healing industry about money, about being seen, about being known, about being big and showing up with who you truly are. But I come from the Council of Healers. I come from the High Council of Healers and it's time for me to really do my work. And that's to help healers show up. That's to help healers get in their power. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing um, coaching and then VIP if you want to do privates with me. Because um, I really want to help you guys up level. And how do we win? <laughs> By up leveling, right? By showing up. And, and believing money's okay. And you don't have to suffer or be broke to be a healer. And it's okay to drive an E350. I wouldn't even show that to anybody. I showed it in a class, in this abundance class I was doing last year when I got it. Zara was in the class. I felt so uncomfortable showing you what I drove. 
I mean, how silly is that? You guys, and I'm here to support you to really get going and um, go rock and roll and go play and go have fun. I mean, that's what we're here to do. We're not here to play small. We're not here to hide. We're not here to be average. We're here to play big and it's time. And you know, I know a lot of people that hire coaches or go to coaching groups, but if your belief systems are in the way of that, how are they gonna support you? So I'm here to help you change your belief systems. Maybe you still work with a coach or other coaches like Nina and other people that can, and Kim, that can help you um, expand in that way. I'll help you shift your belief systems so that you can uh, use the services or, or implement the, not use, I don't like that word, implement the services of your coach or whoever else that is helping you. Yay. You guys ready? Uh, this is the master practitioner training. This is a whole level up and it's going to be, we're going to repeat somewhat of the things we did last week, meaning um, talking to past on loved ones, but we're going to be upping that game and you're, they're going to really show you who they are as a spirit instead of just that being you remember on earth. Um, we're going to be doing psychic surgeries and all kinds of stuff. So it's not a repeat of last week. This is masters. And then the next time we meet, we'll be working in the galactic Akashic records and working with that energy. I come from the high council of healers and it's time for me to really do my work. And that's to help healers show up. That's to help healers get in their power. Because the collective consciousness, you guys, we're plugged into it. All right, it's, it's all of our DNA that makes up the fifth dimensional grid system. It's the collective consciousness. Now, 95% of the world is ran by the subconsciousness of humanity because 95% of our lives are ran by the subconsciousness, right? So, and since we make up the collective consciousness, 95% of the world is ran through the subconsciousness of humanity. And with sacred activations, we're clearing that out. We're going to talk about the room and we're going to go a little more expanded in the room. So when you go into the Akasic records, for me, how I see it is to your left is a healing room, healing chamber, I've been told to tell you, okay? And this is the entrance to the healing chamber for when you die and pass over. People go into that also to release all the trauma from what they picked up on the earth but you can go into this healing chamber and receive this healing in these shifts it could be just emotions and attachments and weights on your body and your energy and you can go in there and have a huge shift i feel more energized and all this week i've had ideas flowing to get my business started Really good, Tamara. I'm just so glad to have found this process. Uh, I just feel like my skills as a healer and also as a reader of energy have um, really come into focus, a much sharper focus. And I'm remembering to use that on all of the calls. Yesterday, the teaching was massive. Really, really, it's, it's just, you know, brrr. Off we go, and off we go, and off we go. I want to say thank you for an amazing class. And I felt more in tune and receiving messages. And a month ago, I was so separated from all of this that I couldn't have even done that. I'm just so super excited. Like, I just feel like I'm on a rocket ship and I don't know where I'm going. And I'm not even sure that I care where I get to, you know, it's just, I'm just super excited. So thank you for reholding this class and bringing me back to where I want to be. So It's a really wonderful tool to be able to specifically go to, to get information. And I feel like I've been going there all week long and I went there for a client and it was easier to get information there than any 
than the other training I've had for 14 years. Such an amazing journey the last two weeks. And I did take it last time. So yes, this is completely different.